Hello again, this is Dale Horian, and I'm with Lampa Manufacturing. This is video number two of a series of three that cover the installation of the Vapor Fire 100 furnace. And the second one I'm going to talk about, first we talked about the chimney hookups, next we're going to talk about ducting. The Vapor Fire up here takes a 24 inch by 24 inch plano. And you professionals, you will probably make yours up yourself. Uh, if you're a homeowner or you're doing a, a do-it-yourselfer, uh, I've noticed that you can get them right off the shelf at Home Depot, Menards, probably Lowe's, uh, but a lot of the home goods stores have ready-made 24-inch platinums. They would get attached up here, and your platinum goes up and connects to your ducting to your house. Uh, the ducting on a furnace like this is just like any other furnace that you would have in your home, whether it's propane, natural gas, oil, all the plenum, all plenum hookup here is going to be the same. So you're going to start with a 24 inch by 24 inch plenum. Now the one thing you do have to make sure is when you're running the ducting out of the plenum to your uh, runs in your house, you do have to have at least 180 square inches of duct space out of the plenum. That has to do with how much back pressure there is on the blower fan. So 180 to 200 square inches of ducting going into the ducting of the house. Now that ties back to your cold air return for the blower. Now the blower doesn't sit this low, it's because I've got one on a pallet here. Uh, this would get hooked up right to the furnace. But your cold air return also must have at least uh, 180 to 200 square inches. If you're running 200 square inches up here out of your plenum, you need to have at least 200 square inches feeding into your blower so you're not creating back pressure or strain on the blower. Um, the other thing is when you're hooking up your plenum, and we'll cover this later when we get into the electrical, back on this corner, so if this is the back of the furnace, the back left corner, in this corner over here is where you want your high temperature probe mounted. Uh, and we'll cover that in the wiring and then here is the low temperature probe right here. Uh, in some cases, if you have a real tall plenum, more than 18 inches, you want to take and relocate this up high on the plenum because remember, all your heat is going to come up here and the higher up, the hotter it's going to be. So you want your high temperature switch up high where it's going to sense it easier. Um, other things about the ducting is probably the biggest challenge is you need to have a backdraft preventer. If you're hooking it in series, or not in series, excuse me, in parallel with another furnace, probably natural gas, propane, oil, um, when your wood furnace is running, you want to make sure that you're not blowing hot air back through uh, the plenum of your other furnace back into the other furnace. So you need to have a backdraft preventer. And if you want to follow me over here, this is a very crude example, and this is this is one just going out into the room here. But you'll notice this this will flop open, so when the blower on the furnace is running, the air will blow out. But if, you, if this was inside your ducting, when the air is blowing this way, you can't blow the air back. Now, one other th uh, thing that you'll notice in our operator's manual, we talk about having some extra space around your backdraft preventer. And you'll, you'll notice this one has about a two inch cutout on each side, so some air still can get in. But the reason for this cutout is if you ever lose power and the blower is not blowing warm air, the heat from the furnace can still get up and into your ducting just through natural gravity. And it should provide nearly enough uh, heat uh, to heat your house and certainly should uh, prevent any um, issues with freezing water pipes or anything. And then when the power comes on, that will all just take care of itself again. The, so you want to have a backdraft preventer on the warm air plenum from your wood furnace. And then if you already have another furnace installed, you probably want to put that backdraft preventer for that furnace on the cold air return. And I, that might sound a little um, backwards, but it means that if you uh, are blowing warm air from the wood furnace, and it's going into the ducting, if your cold air return on the other furnace is blocked, it can't blow hot air back through that other furnace. If you get confused about that, just call us up, we'll help you. That's really about it as far as the ducting. And if you do have specific questions about the ducting hookups, 
give us a call. We'll be happy to help you. Um, and with that, again, look at your operator's manual, but with that, uh, we'll end this tape and then we'll go on to the electrical hookup.